Hello, and welcome to Drug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Starfield. Last couple episodes I've been trying to figure out the outpost stuff, and we've hit a wall. A wall caused by our leveling. Uh, before we jump into it, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you've been around. Thanks for watching. Where is this? There's just a super loud fan or something in this room. Can we just get over here? Wait, nope, just that hissing will be there forever. So, uh, we're down here in the lodge. I just wanted to double check my inventory real quick, make sure I'm emptied out. I am. I'm going to show you what I've accomplished, and then we're going to jump back into doing some of the Gal Bank missions, I think, for a little bit. Um, so, if we look at the stars, and we travel outward, over here in Tau City, I have set up some outposts. What kind of outposts, you ask? What do you have going on here? Well, we have three. So we have, on Tau City spot 6A and Tau City 6, as well as Tau City 4, we have several bases, but we have a problem. So the limitation is that on these outposts, there is a, in a building called a cargo link you can build. And so what the cargo link does is it lets you link up outposts so you can move resources from one to another. The limitation, I think it's a limitation based on what I understand, no organic skills. is that there's one of our cargo links right there for that spaceship taken off. And there's another one right over here. Now what these do is these move cargo so I can move stuff from another one here or vice versa. But because we only have Because we don't have levels of outpost management, um, we are limited to how we can set those links up. And so we can't actually start making the links we need. We can make one, but we can't daisy chain things together. So we're going to have to go up our social skills quite a bit. What's really cool though is, um, for our outposts we do have, I have this outpost here. Where we are making, I think, aluminum. What are we making here? Uh, this is. Uh, oh no, this we're making iron and we're making. Um, come off, right? We're making iron and helium here. Let's just grab this while I'm here. So we have iron and helium here. And I had our. Um, other facility we are making aluminum and what's the word it's called? Come on brain. We are making <laughs> aluminum and it's right here. It'll show up here. It's in my resources. Start in my inventory. It starts with a B. What is it called? Beryllium. We are making beryllium and aluminum at the other one. Uh, and then I've got another one set up that's mining copper and fluorine. So, once we have enough high enough skill level, I'll be able to start linking these outposts together. Until then, I'm going to have to kind of set them up as their own individual places and kind of go to them when I want to grab those materials. We're not going to do much with it yet. We're going to do some more leveling. But I just wanted you to see what we had going on. Um, where is our ship? Where's my ship at? Way over there? Oh, of course I can't fast travel as I pick the guard up. Here, can I just do this? Can I... I'll take it with whatever. Oh, I think that's my ship over there, right? Yeah, there's the frontier. We just can't fast travel. Because we're dumb. So of course we have uh, that ship coming in. Heck, I might just drop some of this. I really don't care that much about it for it to matter. In fact, we'll just drop it on the ground right here. Here, have uh, have some copper. Uh, we need to go down 10 pounds, so we gotta drop about 18 of this. There we go, that should put us underweight. Yeah. And we can just let that sit on the ground right there. Beautiful. Alrighty, now we can fast travel. Now we can fast travel to our heart's content. 
back to the litany. Um, I also changed out the litany's cannons. Um, I changed to a... Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. ...to a ballistic weapon instead of our uh, EM weapon that was equipped. And, and I've been having trouble in the space battles, I tell you what. I feel like upgrading our ship is maybe the next place we have to go from an equipment standpoint. Because we are really just... We are getting our patoobies just kicked in. I'm in the wrong thing. I need to be in my inventory. There we go. Um, we are just getting hurt every time. It's really bad. So we might look at doing that. Maybe some ship design or something or upgrading or buying a new ship next time we have a good chunk of money. Uh, right now we're at 76000 We get a couple. We get to 100000 or something. Maybe that will be the way to go. But let's head back to the Gal Bank and do a couple more Gal Bank missions. Of course, the big question I'm going to have is... Oh, we actually already have the mission, I think. Um, if these are just an infinite number of missions, or if they will just keep... Like, if they will actually hit a, like a, a, a story point for them. I don't know, because these are side missions. They're blue and not red like a faction mission. Or like here, this is the grunt work mission for the UC Vanguard. Like, we're not having those show up, so it's hard to say. So we were in the middle of doing Do and Fall, which was the job from the Gal, Gal Bank to go collect from the influential mercenary. Let's set our course it's right over here. Let's jump. There we go. Now, where are we headed? To this radio tower. This is a deserted ecliptic garrison, but we will head down to this radio tower. We will check it out. Collect. The delinquent mercenaries of money. Let's go for it. Ta -da! We've arrived! Thank you, adoring fan. Alright, let's get off the ship and let's head where we're going here. Over this way. Of course, as always, let's just, you know, you might as well scan a few things when you see them. There's some chlorine. Uh, what is this? Water. Fill that in while we're here. We are not scanning this entire planet. That is not on the uh, agenda for today at all. But there's chlorine and water here. This is water. Yeah, just water. It's a pretty big radio tower. Fairly large. Oh, we're going here, not there. It's like that's really far away. Whatever that unknown structure is. This one, however, is not that far away at all. Says I should be able to run up this way. Not too much running. Catch our breath real quick. There we go. Oh, there we are. So a big tower up on top of this thing. Let's see what we got going on. Looks like he is living in a little shack out behind it. Inside, yes, he's inside. Let's kind of just look around the outside. What do we got here? The pantalum. Hey, we're coming for you. Don't be trying nothing sneaky. Let's check his gar. Ooh, what's that? What's in the garbage? Isotopic coolant. Knife fights in low gravity can okay. be especially difficult. Just you know. Huh. Why, thank you, lady. Alright, let's say hello to this guy. Let's put our gun away. No reason to start something without a need to. We always have our fancy stabby dagger that we found. 
Come on, cycle. Wait outside, friend. Hello. Why is that fancy little outpost? Good condition. Hello, mercenary. Stand up. Let's talk. You are wearing some fancy clothes. I should have known it. There's no hole deep enough. No rock desperate enough that Gal Bank won't find you in time. If you're here for payment, I've got none to give. Sold everything to retire comfortably in obscurity. Huh. Why'd you default on Gal Bank? I spent my life trying to get ahead. No matter how much I tried, it never took. So, these past few, I've just been barely scraping by. The marks keep getting younger, and my ship just keeps getting older. <laughs> At a certain point, I, I knew the game was rigged. So I maxed out my limits and headed off. As you can see, I'm, I'm not looking to live a life in luxury, just a simple, quiet life. Oh. I'm here to collect what I can. Afraid it might come to that. Listen, I won't go peaceful, and I can't pay you. So the way I see it is you have a choice. We fight and see who's lucky. Or dead. Or maybe you leave here. Say it was a bum lead. It happens from time to time. Give an old fellow a peaceful retirement. Man. How much do you owe? Well, I maxed out my credit limit. So, 10,000 credits. I mean, with all the interest payments I've made over the years, Galbank still made a profit off me. Hmm. All right. So, kill him and take his stuff, or do the, the right guy thing, the, 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 the right thing, the white hat thing, and say, pay 10,000 credits. Let's do this. I, I, you have no idea what this means to me. Listen, stranger, I've seen a lot of things, but nothing like you. Take this. My sidearms have seen me through more scrapes than I could count. It's just gathering dust now. You deserve it. All right, so we got this 43 Ultra Mag. Uh, ammo and the gun. Let's see, is there anything else we can steal from him here? You're, you're going to pay us in every way possible. Uh, I will take this ammo, and then we'll check that gun we just got in just a second. Uh, Tri-Tech Lab outfit. Let's see what that's all about. We'll take this here. We'll take this pressure tank. There's actually quite a lot of, like, materials in here that are actually useful to us. Okay. I can't complain about that. I don't know if my life was worth saving, but we did it anyway. Alright, so what did he give us here? Uh, that's just the lab out that we picked up. It's got a cool... Where is... Oh, it doesn't show up here, I guess. Oh, maybe it was there, I just have not seen it. The Solus Gun. 43 Ultra, 39. Long Barrel, Laser Sight, Reflex Sight. Compensator, Tactical Grip, Hair Trigger. Well, that's a heck of a pistol. Let's start using that as our pistols, our Urban Eagle. I like it. Uh, if that's the case, if we're going to use that as our pistol weapon. I don't know why I'm carrying so many types of guns. Um, but let's go ahead and equip Solus and put that in our pistol slot. Why not? Why not? Well, let's go turn this into the Gal Bank Executive that we're working with. Head on back here to uh, Tau Ceti. 
you know what? Maybe we don't just keep doing these. Let's take... Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. There is so much to do in this game. Uh, commercial district, right? Yes. Let's head back to the commercial district. The city certainly projects a powerful image for the United Colonies, eh? It does. Put that away. Well, that cost us 10 grand. Hopefully they pay us something. To make up for what we just did. Hey, buddy. Lives of nearly every individual in the We got the payment and so a really moving letter from the old guy. Speaking. It's powerful stuff. Just glowing about what a model employee you are. Take this. You've more than earned it. So five grand back. Not bad. Well, in that case, what do we got for missions here? Let's, uh, let's keep doing side missions for now. Talk to Alvon Lopez on Iridani 2. Sending a distress call, asking for help from List. Oh no, actually, before we do that, hold on. Where's our List? Here we go. Sell a habitable planet survey to List. We have a survey from a habitable planet, so let's go ahead and head over there. That is back on Mars. I do believe. Set our course there. Maybe it's not? I thought it was on Mars. What's going on here? Oh! They're here in New Atlantis. I didn't realize that. Well, we'll get off the ship. I didn't realize it was right here in New Atlantis. Service, Captain. Uh, let's drop off the equipment we don't need, by the way, though. Uh, so, like our extra gun. Uh, this extra gun, let's put in the cargo hold. This extra lab suit. Drop this off. We don't need to be carrying that around. Drop all of those off. There we go. Keep our weight down a bit. All right, let's go see. Where do we sell this at? I didn't know there was a list office here in New Atlantis. Some seen predators can be the You will be scanned as you enter the city. Where are we headed? Over to here? Oh, okay. At the viewport, the bar. Oh, hey! It's that guy! Hey. Okay. Hello. Hey there. It's Bill Hill. Oh, hello there. Uh, were you standing there long? Uh, no. Uh, let's see. I've got a planetary survey you might be interested in. Terrific. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see here. What was... I don't remember what was a livable planet. Oh, um... Here, was it Piazzi 1? Berea? Or is it just all of these? 
Oh no, he doesn't have enough money. I'm not selling him all this. There, did we finish your mission? There we go. Um. Can I buy you a drink? You seem that you could use one. Stop it, you. Not while I'm on the clock, anyway. Oh, Lord. No, I'm... I'm always on the clock. Thanks anyway, though. You're too kind. Ah. Why are you working for List? Oh, well, I guess I'm a dreamer. Always have been. My head in the nebula, as my dad would say. But I'm, I'm not cut out for the independent life. Not really. But I want to be a part of all this. So here I am, helping people achieve their dreams, doing my part to make the universe a better place. Maybe with a smidge of living vicariously through the people I meet doing this. Like cool. yourself. I like to imagine I've somehow become a, a small part of your adventures. You have, Phil. You have. Take it easy. Yes. Cool. Well, what's next in our our mission list here. Kind of run down. Let's get some of these old ones out of the way. Terror Brew. Hunt the Predator. Oh, that's right. There is a guy down here. There we go. Remember, he wanted us to find that Predator that had eaten the coffee bean that was passing them through its digestive tract to make the most delicious coffee. Let's get on with that. Every world with living things is a treasure. Hey. Well, hello, fancy world. Oh yeah, I've been here. There's our ship. Why we landed here, and our ship is way over there, I have no idea. But let's see what's going on inside this facility. Oh, is it already dead? Oh, that's all it is, is one of these? These are nothing. Come then. Meet your Carrion Cooper's slate? Gary Cooper got eaten, it looks like. <laughs> oh wait, what's that say? Return, yeah, return the coffee beans. Read his slate is an optional. We will read it. Why would you not read it? When I took this job, I thought it was going to be easy. But trying to feed these monsters out getting killed is like trying to lasso a spaceship, only the ship has an attitude and a mouth full of teeth. And that's only for starters. Now I gotta track them down and wait until the beans come out the business end. And hope to God they aren't spoiled. On top of that, some of these beasts don't have what you'd call a traditional digestive tract. It could take weeks, maybe months, before I can move in. So when that happens, you've got to take the beans out by force, which of course brings us back to the attitude of the teeth. Still, all this work will be fine if Sutherland bothered to pay me for the added risk. But the man slicker than Al dog, saying we shook hands and all this crap about how that used to mean something. Well, I know exactly what it meant then and what it means now. The bastard's trying to screw me. Well, I may have been born at night, but I wasn't born last night, so I've got another buyer lined up who's going to do me right. I told him to meet me outside the Terror Brew in the commercial district. Sutherland would lose his mind if he knew, but whatever, that's not my problem. That cheap-ass bastard is going to reap what he sowed. So, we could either go to Sutherland, or we could sell these to the competitor. Hmm. That is a possible tough call. Uh, let's see what's inside this little building over here first. Before we do. Grab kind of some spoils here. Some instant oatmeal. Oh, by the way, speaking of... <clears throat> what is making that noise over here? Um, speaking of, like, not being high enough up on the one skill tree, I went ahead and got us the skill. I spent a skill point, and I got the gastronomy skill 
because I we can't we haven't done enough conversations to spend it in persuasion. Uh, so I went ahead and got that so that we could make some more food and drinks. Um, maybe just see if we can make use of some more of the materials here in the universe. And we had to spend it in that tree anyway, so that's a decision I went with. I don't think we can get inside of here. Unless there's another way in around the side. I don't think you're getting in here. Oh, we got a container up on top. Some ammunition, that's fine. Ooh! A wafer. A whopper. A whopper. Yeah, no, there's nothing inside that see. It's just all set dressing. All the way. Okay. And no buildings over here, right? These are all just cracked and destroyed junk. Yes, it appears that is the case. Alright, back in. Well, I mean. Let's head on back and set our destination for Terror Brew. Go ahead and land in the commercial district. Security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. It does. I'm about to drop you off for a Doring fan if you keep being a, a big old party pooper. All right, here. Where am I going? Okay. Why did it drop me off here? Oh, there were two places. I can either. Wait a minute. So, accept a cargo. Oh, accept cargo. He's in the residential district. He's not here. Why did I come? Why did it land me here? We're looking for Sutherland. He's the guy that we originally contracted with. Let's take it back to him. He paid fair and square, shook hands. I mean, a deal's a deal. Let's not break our word here in the galaxy. Especially not New Atlantis, the place where we do all of our business. Ah! Yes, he was back in this restaurant, that's right. That I believe is him. Yep, son. Hey, buddy. Plenty of people are accomplished, but not all of them are interesting. Huh. Um, I found the predator. And you made it back alive, which already puts you ahead of your predecessor. <laughs> I trust you brought my property with you. Um, did you know the original contractor was going to sell the beans to someone else? I did not. But it seems to have all worked out in the end. When you're in my position, it often does. Oh. Well, here you go. Excellent. And as promised, here is your reward. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have business to attend. All right. Goodbye. Hey, we hit level 17. Let's, oh, uh, we got to spend one more skill point. Oh, I really wish we could get, you have to get in, this conversations are hard to find. So we could, if we make five items, we could up our gastronomy skill. We could get more money and, and make more money when buying and selling stuff. Um, or we could do this, or we could pick up the ability to thieve.
Um, eh, what the heck. Let's learn how to steal from people. Let's get the first rank. Why not? So now, like, if I'm sneaky, I can pickpocket when I walk up behind people. Got it. Well, we'll see how that goes. That might have been a wasted point, but, eh, it's all good. What's next? Start at the bottom. Ah, a shipment for the Salinas. Pick up the package from Red Mile. Where is this? Oh, this is far, far away. This is way out here. So, you have not explored every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. So I guess I have to jump way out here. Oh, I mean, we can make it in our ship. We just don't know the route. Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. So let's jump here. The Sakharakov system. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? True. Uh, let's save. So here we are in this system. Right here. Uh, looks like we've got a bonner to the planet. Why don't we, while we're here, aluminum and, yeah, not a very good one. What about here? Is it just aluminum? Yeah, just those two. Let's check this gas giant real quick. here that you can look at but you can't interact with. Weird. Well, maybe you can if you want to, like, blow them out of the sky or something, but not the move for that. There we go! We surveyed Bonner! Alright. Well, we gotta keep going. We are on our way way out there, so I guess we can jump to Olympus? That was next on our, our track, right? Yeah, Olympus, then Voali. So, to Olympus it is. Uh, I only want, I want Olympus. I don't want the other one. Oh well, I guess we're going here. Travel around space. Uh oh. A space jackal. Let's get him. Let's see if we can do any better in combat today. I'm coming to save you, friend. 
I am way outside of range. Hold on. Am I on the right one? Okay, there we go. And it's over. Unknown vessel, please respond. Sure. Spacers are crazy, but at least they go down easy. I have a lot of my crew over here that want to send a heartfelt thanks. Anyway, we can repay you. Um, I see some extra parts. Because we appreciate salvage rights are enough for me. Um, give me the salvage rights. Here's hoping you find something valuable in that wreckage. You take care out there. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything in there. Spacer Hyena. What do we got? That asteroid's gonna get in the way. Credits, Iridium, and Zero G. Five Zero G gimbals. Holy moly. Um, where is the other wreckage? I thought there were two ships. Spacer Scarab. Check that out real quick. Um, probably get over there at a reasonable rate if we pump our engines up a bit. Location we are headed to. Let's go. Oh, we need to power up the grav ship, the grav engine. Star Collective shows in the top right. All right, I think this is where we're headed, right? Level 30. Well, that's disconcerting. Um, let's do a save. Actually, let's make sure we're not holding on to anything we don't want in our inventory. Oh, we definitely are. Ooh, we gotta have one of these I picked up somewhere. Oh, I'm in the wrong inventory. So I was like, I'm not carrying one of those, am I? That's crazy. Uh, I don't need this Frontier attire. I don't need this instant oatmeal that I picked up. Yeah, we got a little, couple items there we picked up on the planet. Totally forgot about it. Now let's do a save. You never know. Things could go wrong. Alright. Back to our mission. Which is a shipment for Salinas. Pick it up from the Ren Mile. Set that destination. We can now make it. Let's jump to here. Here we are 
from Porima. The Porima system. What is it here? Let's scan. Red Mile. It's just a location out here. Water, aluminum, chlorine, helium. What's the rest of the system look like? All kinds of stuff. It says level 30, which means we probably don't want to be messing around here very long. Um, there is some kind of outpost on Porima 2, but let's head in to the Red Mile. I could do quite well on the Red Mile. I think together, the two of us could do very well. Wait a minute. What kind of people are these we're picking this package up from? How are you equipped? Red Mile. I'm on duty, so get the hell out of my face. Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. What is this place? What is the Red Mile? Okay, here's the dead drop I have to pick up. Let's pick up this package. And while we're here, Let's, let's find out what the Red Mile is. Like, what is this place? Is it just like a space bar? Is it a den of villainy? It's still a bit more legal now, I suppose, but hardly more civilized. You'll be talking to the underside of my boat if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. Ah! Huh. Who are these guys? Let's go in. The Red Mile. Dare to run for fame or for glory for your life. Wait, is it a jogging group? Return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And stop her. I can't wait. I'm in charge of security here, so I'm the last person you want to piss off. Wow. Stalker needs to lay off the smokes. Alright, first thing, what's in these here lockers, huh? You got a wooden duck, utility knife, nothing that really matters. I'll use the security helmet if you want. So is this a bar? Is this a restaurant? What is this? 
Advanced nutrition. Okay, let's just talk to her. Let me be clear. You start something. Every one of us in here will make sure to end it. Okay. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Huh. So you run some sort of private security force? Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I'd think twice about pissing us off. Or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. I've killed so many ecliptics. Why would a mercenary force like Ecliptic take out a job like this? What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. What's with the security here? Why are you so hostile? Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Um, okay. Go bother someone else now. You're terrible. Can you believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? I mean, that's you're my kind of scum, I would guess. Ah, so... Ship services here. This isn't really a ship. What's in here? Hi! I'd like to come in and talk to you. Whoever Need something you are. for your ship? Long Anderson. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Um, who's asking? Who's asking? The starport master of Red Mile is who? Think that'd be obvious, given what I just asked you? Oh, of course it is. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, well, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Huh. Are you talking about those mercenaries? May's security. Bunch of wannabe soldier assholes is more like it. Call themselves ecliptic. You think there's some sort of uh, elite paramilitary unit. I'll tell you what they really are. They're nothing but punks with guns that get off on pushing people around. I get the need for having some security out of here. We're independent. That ain't lost on me. But these guys are the worst of the worst. More trouble than they're worth, you know? And not by a little. I just noticed it says... <laughs> Please fix... Um, all this record stuff. And then it says, wrong adapter, need a QX multi with a USB-Z port. They made it all the way to Z in the future. Uh, so May's the one in charge here? Yep, she took over a little while ago. Drove out all the regulars because they didn't fit in with her new vision for the place. Oh. Now, I'm not saying they were saints, but at least there was some respect for the people whose blood and sweat makes this place work, you know? You'll find her inside. Whatever you're here for. She's probably the one you want to talk to first. Okay. Um. Sounds like this place went through a lot of changes. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. You think? Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Um, any repair? Let's get some repairs yeah, done. Yeah, there's nothing for us to do here. <laughs> you're already in good shape. Okay. Um, 
What do you have for sale? Sure, what you want. While we're out here, let's just see what's available. Oh, what is this piece of garbage? That thing looks awful. Ooh, a pterosaur. Okay, this is just... That's pretty awesome looking. I like that. I like that a lot. A Wendigo. Affordable. Good shields. The Econo Hall. A freighter. We've seen that before. The Galileo. That's new. Kind of a mix of stuff. The slipstream. Oh, look, a Y-Wing. And a regular Mustang, which is what the Frontier is. Okay. Cool. Yep. Bye. Bye. Mean old man. Alright, let's check out. You You're trying to piss me off. I'm about done with these mercs. I'm gonna do whatever I can to get them out of this place. Hey, May! Let's talk. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Nope. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> You're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Ah. Huh. What's involved in running the Red Mile? Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Oh. Like a little ceremony? Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. Okay. Do people really bet on people's lives? <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Oh, thanks for the info. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. Oh. Uh, about, can you tell me more about this place and its history? A rather open-ended question, but I'll do my best. Red Mile was once a notorious haven for the criminal underworld. Thieves, shipjackers, mercenaries, and smugglers would come here to do business, get drunk, and gamble. I cleaned the place up when I took over. I made it, if not quite a family destination, at least a safer one. Red Mile still offers a unique, exciting experience, but our clientele has improved considerably, and we offer a wider range of services. Hmm. How did you clean the place up? I was fortunate to be born into a wealthy family. I used those resources to build an extensive network of contacts across the settled systems. 
Suffice it to say, I had to call in more than a few favors, but with patience and perseverance, I was able to realize my vision. And now, at last, Red Mile is truly a must-see destination for any who wish to experience it for themselves. Why all the effort to turn this place around? What's in it for you? Because I see the potential for Red Mile to become one of the most unique and popular travel destinations in the settled systems. Because I want to leave a legacy and be remembered for creating something as unique as it is lucrative. Or perhaps it's because, like so many runners who come here to test themselves, I relish a challenge. I suppose there's no single reason. Let's just say that I feel it's my calling. All right. Well, let's not run the Call red mile yet. Me if you need anything. So what else we got going on in here? Touch the screen to learn more. Red mile leaderboard. Top five red mile runners: Donovan Reese, Latka Riant, Arnie Richardson, Tank, Valerie Vega, and I have run it zero times. Okay. Thinking of running sometime? Talk to Maine. Word to the wide. I think that might be Donovan Reese. I just like him intensely. Why is this? What? That's really simple out there on the red mile. Just don't die. <laughs> Always worked for me. Okay. Listen, friend. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to relax and you people won't give me a moment's peace. I tell you what. If you want a conversation with me, it'll cost you. Bring me a runner's rush from the bar, and then we can talk. Deal? Sure. Why not? I'll be right back. Off you go, then. You wouldn't last a minute in the Red Mile. Of course, I probably wouldn't either. Bill Hill. Hey, Bill's here, too. Let me know if you need something. Stacks of money just laying around the table. In fact, there's just money everywhere. I can think of I should run the course What do we got down here? A bunch more gambling spots? And the other else I'm looking for now, but I'll win all that. Yeah. Well, let's buy that. Can drink. I get you something while you wait for the next run? Sure, Sadie. Hi, welcome to Red Mile. We've got clean rooms and neat drinks. Can I help you out with either of those, or both? Ooh, what about both? Nice. Um, what's the wildest thing you've seen in the Red Mile? Ooh. I saw this guy get full-on eaten by one of the larger creatures we had out there one time. Just swallowed him up whole in one gulp. Clearly he was a goner. Not five minutes later, after the bets were called and everyone was settling up, the guy bursts out of the thing's stomach and goes on to finish the course. You can imagine that was an interesting night. Just don't imagine what that guy smelled like after yeah. What services does the Red Mile offer? Aside from the restaurant and hotel services, we offer full service starship maintenance and refueling. Just speak to our starport master, Lon Anderson. And don't mind him. He may be a lazy old fart, but when push comes to shove, he gets the job done. Um, I'd like to get a drink. You got it. Word of warning, though. I pour him strong. Well, that's the, the best type. Uh, first of all, you sell guns, which is great. Good bar. Um, what was I supposed to buy? What was the drink? What was it called? Ah, Runner's Rush. That was the name of it. Survivor Sauce. Ah. Cocktail energy drink and vodka. Let's buy one of those. I don't need ten of them. Just one, please. Um, anything else here worth picking up? And ooh, sparkling wine is such a fancy bottle. Uh, you do, however, I saw med packs in the list, right? Yeah, let's uh, let's buy that. Let's buy the trauma packs that you've got. I just I don't know why I keep skipping over them. Yeah, we'll buy all your trauma packs as well. Enjoy yourself. I will. Before we bring him his Good drink, let's just look around. Back You're here is looking the to register. You'll need to speak to Miss Debbie. Just some staff doing their job. 
you know, that's fine. Hey, we can. Hey, I'm a bartender. I'm not a bartender. I'm not the bartender. Don't bother me, people. These are just more random people. Bathrooms cut. Oh no. The bathroom. Somebody had a bad time in the bathroom. Wait, is that a data slate? Take a dive. It's simple. I'll bet against you. I'll bet it all against you. We sneak out when no one's paid attention. Drop a corpse that looks like you. I know a guy who used to work at Enhance. He does great back alley work in neon. I won't sweat nothing. You find cover, slip out of there when the coast is clear, hit and meet the spot, and we'll split the winnings 80-20. 20% 20. 20 should be more than enough for you, since I'm the one who's got to do all the wheeling and dealing. Making the bets and all. I'm the one making all the money here. All you gotta do is make it past the first section out there. Fight a few beasties, find a hidey hole, and survive the night. Easy peasy. If you agree, find me a return with the slate. You're about to be a rich buddy boy. Ah, so maybe some, uh, some surgery was maybe done here in this bathroom. Francisco. Ah, another bathroom. Slightly cleaner. Okay. Well, let's talk to Donovan. Donovan. Ah, you again. Please tell me you've got a nice frosty runner's rush from the bar. My cup runneth empty. Here you go. I've got one right here for you. Ah, oh, most kind. So, what brings you by? Afraid I'm right out of autographed pictures. Huh. Uh, May said I should ask you what's the most someone has bet on your life. Ha <laughs> ha. Did she now? I course she did. House gets a cut. She'd love to have someone like me back in there. Biggest bet on me was well over 10 million credits. I think May used the money to renovate the cantina and still have plenty left over. Just on house carts alone. Ah. Any tips for a new Red Mile runner? <laughs> don't go breaking my record for one. Other than that, don't hesitate. Ever. You hesitate. You spend too much time thinking things through. That's how you get yourself killed out there. I always say the best way to run the course is on pure instinct. You let that take over and drive you, the chances are you'll win. Oh, good. Unless you already know your instincts are shite, in which case, don't run the course at all. Nice. Well, we know he's some kind of celebrity. Are you ever going to settle down with someone, Donovan? What else we got going on here before we wrap up this episode? I'm about to destroy these security guys. Like I'm literally just about to lose it on them. What do we got here? Nothing. This one's being cleaned. Somebody's had a bit of a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was... Sentient AI adapters, a knife... This is this is not a good room to be in. Get out of my face before I put a bullet in your head. Um, we um, uh, we're getting rid of. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna murder every ecliptic mercenary in this building. What do we got down here? Oh, we got a bar, so we got people. Patron. If someone's got a death wish, why not make it? Things to do with this. Just regular people. Then we got the main office. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we try out the red. Oh, hello, maze computer. No, hello. here. What have we here? Uh, are we like this? And then we're like this? Let's 
going on here? Recent contract renewal. You're making a good choice keeping us under contract, May. Even if they could break their jurisdiction, Free Star Rangers wouldn't keep you half as safe as we can. I know some of our contractors have a reputation for being rough around the edges, maybe even rude, but that reputation is part of why your establishment is so safe with us. You'll notice that incidents that are skipping out have been down 80%, 79%. Since we started, physical altercations between patrons are down 52 and powered attacks, they're virtually non-existent. So remember, when it comes for our annual rates to go up, it's not just safer, it's good business sense. I'm not a doctor. May. You've got to stop sending your injured runners my way. I don't have medical training. Best I got is staples, glue, tape, and a lot of absorbent materials. These people need more than what I can provide them. I'm pretty sure the reason some of them haven't come back is because they died in transit to a real hospital. Don't be cheap, May. Hire a damn doctor. I'm sure you can find one seedy enough for your operation on Neon. Hell, I might even know a guy who knows a guy. Successful extraction. Miss Devine, your tip was most appreciated. Our tracker was able to find Mr. Whitting at your establishment and extract him without causing a scene. Your patrons were none the wiser. That should settle the matter of our employer hiring us to take care of, but we no longer require your services at this time. Thank you for your cooperation and feel free to reach out if you ever require our services. Z. Quarterly report. I'll drop by sometime with a full report, but I wanted to share with you the good news. Earnings have been up this quarter by 14%, despite the retirement of your most popular runner. Costs have only increased 1.5%, so whatever you're doing, I recommend keeping it up. And fire in the kitchen! First, let me say sorry, May. It was a real slow night, no orders were coming in, and we just wanted to see what would happen, and we tried to cook one of the little creatures that came crawling up that Gary found outside. We didn't know it would produce that much smoke that quickly when we baked, and we didn't know the smell would be so rank. You can take the cost of the new oven out of my pay. Just please don't fire me. I need this job. Signed, Zara. Aw. I mean, don't I mess around at work. for computer systems. Uh, are any of these people down here? Push around. May runs a tidy I don't like this, that the fact that this sound, song sounds very much like the Macarena. It is a all right, well, we're going to save, and I think when we come back, we'll try to run the Red Mile. Um, so until next time, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.